There's a prankster comet in the supermassive galaxy. And it's a speedrun comet. Get through the level as quickly as you can. We have two and a half minutes to make it all the way to the end. So don't waste time. So, basically, you already know what to do, just get to the end of the level as quickly as possible. I'm going to follow the exact same route that I took the first time around. Here, it might be possible to use long jumps to get under both of these enemies at one time. I didn't try that. As you see, I was safe and I just went under one enemy at once. Now, I understand here on this Koopa planet, you can jump on top of the Koopa's backs, do it over and over and over and over again in order to get lots of one-ups. That's a pretty cool trick, but I can't show that off because, well, this is a speed run. I can't waste time getting extra lives. to see here, just go through this area. You'll notice that I tend to do a lot of long jumps. That's because I think long jumps save your time in getting through an area. Unfortunately, there aren't a lot of good places to use a long jump in this level. There's one big place where you can use long jumps, and that's the area with the caterpillar enemies, which we'll see shortly. I'll go through the first half of this area normally, just to show you what I mean about long jump saving time. When you go through this area normally, it takes a lot of time, because you have to run after slow Mr. Caterpillar. It's far easier if you do long jumps from ring to ring. See? Saved myself a lot of time there. Now you just have to do a long jump from platform to platform here in order to reach the pole, climb up the pole, and jump off at the end to get the star. 